It's Saturday, you know what that means. It is Electronics Amazon Customer Returns Liquidation Pallet Day. Today I think I got a pretty good one. I think I got a pretty good one here. So, I've got a total of three very large boxes. They came on one wooden pallet. Total MSRP. Amazon.com pricing, $3,185. Over $3,000 pallet for electronics. This could be fun. What I paid though, $360. So I paid a little bit over 10%, not much really. So I pretty much stay within my goal of what I want to get or pay whenever I do buy my liquidations, which is around 10%. So hopefully this one is a banger. But I know box number two that we're gonna do second is a very heavy box. Those first ones not too heavy um <laughs> reason why it's practically empty empty space so um first box won't take one to go through okay first item uh yeah um uh, boring car mount five bucks next what is this this looks kind of cool this might be awesome. Star Theater Pro, optical star projection system. So I don't really know much about this. It, uh, let me my phone. I really don't even know if this thing's expensive or not. I've never, I've never seen this. So projects 10,000 stars on walls and ceilings. So I guess if you wanna sleep at night underneath the stars, this contraption is for you. What? Ooh, that's pretty good. It sells new on Amazon for $107.96. So it's $108 new. That's not bad. It was just retaped with like a piece of scotch tape. It wasn't factory sealed. Yeah, let's see. Here's the main ball of it. Not damaged. Might have been used by the test out, see if it works. But if it sells new for over a hundred dollars, just a shade over. Used had to be at least like half of that, maybe. This has to be at least probably 50, 60 bucks of it. In used condition. Next we got a master lock. This is oh where you can hide your lock up your inside gadgets and gizmos. And this one is still Factory sealed, so that's a good about, I think it's like $25 or so, if I remember correctly, in that range. I think so. Let's see, we got a few things right here. We have, this is a Fitbit or something? If it's a Fitbit, it would say Fitbit on it. I don't see any branding on it, but it's just, it's a smart watch of some kind. Probably just an off-brand. Missed. More than likely. So, it might still be like 15, 20 bucks maybe. Then we have, we have a uh, AA and AAA battery charger. No battery, just charger, like five bucks on that. And then we have a Hush by Marpak. It makes a, like a, soothing sound for the babies out there used it might not work but if it does work it's like honestly i'd sell it for like no more than 10 bucks we've got some glass screens a couple bucks there um this package has been opened uh, yeah it's missing the other half the packaging that's trash and then last thing we got a keyboard guard about five bucks on that then an iphone cord we've got quadcopter ishin quadcopter has been opened up i just make sure it works but there's a rattler in there 15 bucks maybe and last thing, box number one. That's a nice stapler. 
Swing Line Optima Stapler, Optima 45. I know these things, I think, new around 40, 50 bucks new. If it's used and works, it'll be like, like half of that. It still looks like, like it might be factory packaged in there. So it'll be like 30 to 40 bucks in that range. It's ever box number one already. So let me get to the next one. For the first box, I decided to change it up a little bit. If you didn't notice, I had it, the box is more beside me than in front of me. And it just felt weird. The whole time it just felt weird. So we're back to how I always do it with the box right in front of me. I'll just change things up, change the scenery, kind of. And I didn't, it just, it didn't feel right. It, didn't feel, it felt weird reaching in like this, pulling out like this, instead of going in like this. You know what I'm saying? Just felt weird. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, we got a Joby. Oh, it's broken though. Dang it. I would totally have kept this too to use it myself. That can't be fixed either. That is completely broken off. Broken. Let's see. We have an entire bag of sharper, sharper. Sharpie highlighters. There's probably what two dozen in here 50 cents a piece. So I'm guessing like what 12 bucks this whole bag It might be low though, but maybe like 12 bucks and then we've got a iWatch not iWatch Apple watch protector face thing. That's pretty much unsellable uh, USB to USB cable, you know a few bucks on that Oh, we have a food scale, a small food scale, used, brand is Hario, never heard of that brand, like five bucks on that. We have a whole thing of blank flashcards. That'll be a donation stack. Let's see. Oh, this is just a, uh, a wall power surge protector thing, like five bucks on that. Okay, where's the good stuff? Manual, why is this an electronics? Oh, there's some records? Ooh, there's a PS4 game. Okay, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. We have a soap dispenser in electronics. Okay, tell me that's not weird. That's kind of weird. I think I moved my light when I was switching boxes. It looks dark behind me. That might have helped a little bit. But yeah, a soap dispenser, 10 bucks maybe. We got NBA 2K19 for the PlayStation 4. It's poly bagged. Let's see if the game is actually in it. Sometimes the game's missing. 2K19. Yeah, it's in there. Make sure there's no code showing. Doesn't look like it, but yeah. There's the game, 2K14. Not 14, 19. This actually came out in 18, so it's still for used condition. I don't even know how much it sells for used. I'm going to find out, though. Because, I'm honestly, I'm just kind of curious. Oh, it sells new for 20 bucks. Woo! So I'll be lucky to get, honestly, probably like 12 bucks for this used. But since it's so cheap, I might just keep it, honestly. Honestly, I'll probably just... I just keep it because I'd rather just keep it than sell it for ten, twelve dollars. Because I'll play it. We got a whole thing of big pins. A few bucks on that, or I'll go into my donation stack. Plier type stapler. Ten bucks. Let's see what we got here. The essential Paul Simon CD. Oh, that CD is no good. So. It's a double CD. The disc two's fine. So I'll pitch disc one. And this will go to my donation stack. Peter Serkin. Still kind of weird seal on it. About five bucks on that. Ooh, this this is 
I, I don't really need this, but I could use it. Sexy Body Workout, Volume 2. Ah, uh, nothing. Case is kind of beat up, too. No disc. Missed that completely. Oh, we got records. I see another PlayStation 4 game in there. Let's see. Eddie, Eddie Izzard, Defini the Definitive Comedy Collection. Wow, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like a backstage pass. Nine, ten. Wow, that's a ten disc. Is it DVD or Blu ray? It is. I can't even tell on, on that one. It is. I'm guessing it's DVD. I don't even see where it says. I guess it's DVD. We'll just call it DVD. Eddie Lizard. I have no. Izzard. I have no clue how much it sells for. I've never seen this. So, ooh, it sells new for 80 bucks. Wow. So, used, opened up. That's got to be at least half price, about 40 bucks on that, I bet. Let's pull this thing out. PlayStation 4 Trails of Cold Steel. So we do have PS4 game. So here is, oh, it's like a whole set. So the CD it comes with is still factory sealed. The music selections, factory sealed. I like that. Oh, it's a steel book. Is it in there? Yes, it's in there. Game's in fantastic shape. There's the game. So it's a steel book with a music DVD or music DVD music CD let's see how much this thing sells for because I'm curious and I have no idea I've actually got quite a few things in this pal so far that I know what it even was and I kind of like to learn about new things so it sells new right now trails of cold steel decisive edition this is the yeah sells new for $49.99 new so oh open box item the CD is still sealed. The game's open, but that's probably good. Like what, thirty bucks? I bet. A little more than half price. Electric pencil sharpener, about five on that. Pencil sharpener used, about five on that. Looks like we have a tablet case. Honestly, about five on the tablet case. Barry White, all-time greatest hits. Man has like one of the coolest voices in the history of mankind. Is Mr. Barry White. CD's good few bucks on that here's an REI HDMI splitter one times eight so this is an eight HDMI splitter is that kind of kind of overkill you think for an HDMI splitter kind of that's probably at least about 20 bucks I bet if not more than that oh what's this ultra pod grip for a camera. I only need it though. I'm about to say, I might keep this, but I probably, I probably never use it. But I bet it's good about 20 bucks or so. Screen protector, few bucks. Uh, oh, we have a wireless Xbox One controller. It's missing the packaging. But it is an authentic Xbox Xbox One controller, wireless one. New ones are like what, forty bucks for a new controller? I think does that sound about right? Like 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 forty or so? I think. I think uh, so. That's good. Maybe twenty twenty five dollars. I'm just guesstimating on that. Uh, this looks like a wireless charger right right here. Something like that. We got some Fuji film. It's it's open package, but the film inside is still it's still sealed on the inside. So let's buy a good ten bucks on that. We got. Oh, we have an off-brand 
PlayStation. I don't know if it's PS3 or PS4 controller. It's like an off-brand one. Yeah, that won't sell for. I might be lucky to get 10, 10 bucks out of a used off-brand PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 controller. These are little tiny plastic pieces in here. You know, like the game Life, the board game, it has little tiny, like the houses and stuff. This is kind of like little itty bitty houses. I don't know what this is. I, you probably can't even tell with the camera what it even is. I don't know what, what, what that is. Outdoor Tech Wire Chips Universal Helmet Audio. Wired. Hi-Fi sound, built-in mic, one and done, right ear, one button does it all, play, pause, change tracks, answer calls. Huh. Outdoor tech, wireless. Different. Let me look it up real quick. I have no clue if this thing is even expensive or not. I've never seen this. I like getting out new things that I don't know what they are. It's kind of it's fun for me because... I've seen thousands and thousands of items in my time pout flipping. Seeing new stuff, for me, it's kind of exciting. But it sells new for 40 bucks. So used is probably half price at 20. And then an iPhone cord. Some kind of a bracket. Two brackets. Metal brackets, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, we got a phone case. Looks like for. Let's see the size. Yep, it's for the it's for the 10s. Clear case. New or used. Looks it looks nice. Might actually keep this for a replacement case. Oh, it's magnetic too. I've never look at this. It's magnetic. That's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm keeping that case. Let's, let's do something kind of cool. Let's, what's this? Hold on. Say it with sign DVD, the award-winning sign language program. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This thing is a 10 DVD sign language set. Volume one through volume 10. This might have some value to it. A lot of these uh, sets kind of like, kind of like this. Like the Hooked on Phonics goes for like over a hundred bucks, I think. So a sign language set, this might be expensive. Expensive. Yes, it is. It sells new $199.95. It is $200. It has a decent rank on it. It's $200, dang. Wow, did not expect it. I thought maybe like a hundred, like new condition, but obviously it is used. If it sells new for two, I could probably easily get half price for it, probably a hundred bucks for for that sign language, 10, 10 volume DVD set. That's awesome. That might be the best thing in this whole, all three boxes. That's $200 brand new. That's very expensive. But let's, let's do some records. I'm gonna move for something kind of cool. This one is Joy Division. Closer? I've never heard of this record before. But most records I sell for $15 ship. That's my like, like my normal asking price. Next we got Whiskey Town. Stranger's Almanac. Once again, I've never heard of heard this group, but probably like 15 shipped. The next we've got. Billy Ellish, don't smile at me. Never heard of her. So far, first three, I've never heard of them. Probably 15 shipped on that. Oh, this one I've sold before. The best of, was it Sade? I've sold this thing two or three times now. But yeah, it's like 15 shipped for the best of Sade. Oh, here's a good soundtrack. A Star is Born soundtrack. This one actually is kind of an expensive soundtrack too. Let me look this thing up. Cause I sold this before and it's actually, it was like 30 or $35 new, I think. Used, yeah, this, as long as, 
as long as the prices haven't changed on it. Let's see. 2LP set. Uh, looks like prices on it have changed. There's used, 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 new. Okay. So it looks like new on Amazon. It's twenty dollars and fifty-four cents. It was going for like thirty thirty-five. So anyway, so I guess used condition, about fifteen dollars ship. It is a double LP. It did drop a price then. Then you got Bob Dylan bringing it all back home. Mr. His is Mr. Tambry Man on this one. Yeah. Uh I might keep Dylan. I don't know. I'll flash the price 15 shipped, but I might end up keeping it. I'll have to wait and see. Let's see. Now we've got a iPad uh, Bluetooth keyboard for it. Like 25 bucks now, I bet. In, in that range. Let's see. We got... What are you? It's like a, a power... Oh, it's... Microsoft Surface. Okay, so that's the Surface. That's the like the power bank for it. Give me a second here. Power, I think Microsoft Surface it has some value to it, I think doesn't it? I think it does. I think I've sold this before. But it had like the whole box for it. But here's the Microsoft Surface. The back just fell off of it. That can't be a good sign. Why'd the back fall off? Is it broken? That's probably why they return it, I bet. Probably because for some reason the back doesn't want to stay on it. I don't know. I'm going to have to... Let me look this up real quick. Hold on. Okay, so this thing, it's, it's actually really expensive. It sells new on Amazon for $134.99. $135 bucks for this thing. But obviously, it's got some issues to it. I'm going to have to mess this thing. See if it works. And if it doesn't, it can still be sold for parts. I guarantee it because it's kind of expensive. So... Even if it does not work, I bet you I can still probably get parts for it, maybe like 40, 50 bucks. I don't know. So that kind of stinks though. It's expensive and it's broken. We've got computer wipes. Opened, not dried out. I'm gonna keep the wipes. You know, why you sell the wipes and I can use them. Then, oh, mic stand adapter, Yamaha. Just a mic stand adapter, about 10 bucks on that. Let's see. Box almost done. This box has a lot of stuff in it. Two and one force. I don't know what this thing is. iPhone cord. It's gray? Oh, I think it has to do with that cricket thing. Yeah, it's it's you know, I think pretty sure that cricket C R I C U T cricket or cricket. I think, it, I think it goes, it goes, it's like an accessory for that, I think. So I'm just gonna say like 10, 15 bucks on it. I'm just guesstimating. We got iPhone cord, uh, wheels. Bottom's box is a lot of like hodgepodge. Motorola Boom 2 water resistant and durable wireless headset. Probably 20, 25 bucks on that. Panasonic, oh, it's a, an additional cordless handset. About 10 bucks on that. Oh, it's a protector for like an iPad, a few bucks. Let me pull out all the rest of the stuff. There's like some trash in here. Uh, let's see, an adapter for a... Oh, it's still, you can use the headphones on your iPhone. It's a headphone adapter. I actually need one of these. I'm going to keep that. And it fell. Then we've got 
Oh, we have a lock, so you can lock up something like like your computer. A few bucks on that. Uh, we have an empty bag. Trash. Got some screws. Glass for your watch, a few bucks. Parts to a clock, and then Avery labels. All that, a few bucks at the very end. That's it for box number two. Box number two, that box had a lot of stuff in it. There might have been a hundred items in that box number two, but that sign language DVD set is, is, is like a hundred bucks. So yeah, that was, I mean, it was a good box though, but let me get to the final box. Box three, this one's actually pretty light. This one has probably not as full as that last one. The box two was incredibly full of stuff. Almost too much stuff. Uh, yeah, a lot less stuff in this one. No paper on top either. So let's do this. First item, we have an Xbox One wireless controller. In the packaging this time. So the first one, no packaging. This one, packaging. And it is a blue one. Is it supposed to be blue? I don't know how, it's, how do you tell. The picture's white. The controller's blue. It's authentic. It's not a fake. It's in really good shape. It looks like it's, it's new. I don't know what this is about though. If anybody knows, should this controller be blue? The picture's white. That's what's throwing me off, is that it doesn't match the picture. I don't know if this is normal for Xbox One to have different color controllers, kind of like a guessing game of what you get. It looks like it's new though, but I got my concerns. I'm just, I don't know. What's this? Multi-sport sensor on wrist display, real-time display. So it's like a watch, but it's like a, just a piece of fabric. What is this? I've never seen this. I'm kind of curious now. Well, I was way off. It is, it's like a piece of fabric. But it's a watch? How? I don't get it. It's really like a piece of fabric. And of course, now I try to put it back where I pull it out of there. Unless there's more to it. Oh, yeah, it looks like there's some more to it. Here is, oh, I pulled it off of it. Probably shouldn't have done that. Looks like this must be like the main reader part of it or something. It's like, there. Then, we have this thing. Oh, this cardboard bottom. I have no clue how much this thing sells for. I gotta look this thing up because I'm just baffled right now what this thing is. I found it on Amazon. It's the Bobolet Pop Wristband. It has to do with tennis. So this little piece here fits into this part right there. And then somehow it measures your tennis swing and it sends the data back to your phone. So this has to do with helping you become a better tennis player. That is not what I expected with this thing. I would have not have guessed that. Does that go on there? Maybe that went on there. So it sells new for a hundred bucks. This one obviously is used. So I'm guessing half of that, like 50 bucks. I'm totally guessing on it now. Here we go, iPhone core. Uh, let's see, we got some Sony wired earbuds. Look like they're, there's no, I don't see any like ear scum on them. 
so it might be okay. I don't see like ear nastiness on it. So about 10 bucks on those. I'll have to look at them a little bit closer later. We got a thing of pins, like donation stack. Liquidate. It says earphone clips. Oh, it's for like hearing protection. Factory refurbished, brother. What are you? Don't know what, what you are. Quick setup guide. Receipt management made simple. Oh, is it a receipt scanner? Yes, it is. Oh, it's an ID card scanning. That looks to be really nice, actually. So it scans ID card scanning up to eight pages per minute, color in black. DS Mobile 620. I gotta look this thing up. Yes, it's factory refurbished, so it's pretty much like new condition because it's been refurbished by brother. But let me see how much this thing might sell for. Wow, this one's kind of expensive too. Brother DS Mobile DS620 sheet fed mobile scanner. It sells new on Amazon for $118. Wow. This one is factory refurbished. So that pretty much means that brother, they went through this thing, they cleaned it. it it's pretty much, it's back to almost like new condition being factory refurbished. So if it sells new for 120, factory refurbished, it, it'd probably go for at least three quarters of that price, honestly. So like I'd probably ask for this maybe about like 70, $75. See if I can get that much for it. Probably could. In that range. Ooh. Let me say that for a couple more minutes, though. We got RHA wireless Bluetooth headphones. Are these nasty and used? Um, doesn't look like it. They look okay for RHA wireless Bluetooth headphones. See these? Well, it says Amazon says it sells new for $636. That's got to be an error. It has a rank of $30,000. That's a really good one. There's no way this sells. I'm going to show you the screen. Is it focusing on it? There's no way it sells for that much money. $636? So RHA CL2 planner in-ear headphones, hi-fi planner magnetic driver IEM with Bluetooth wireless neckband. It has a low rank on it and it sells new. Amazon themselves are selling it for $636. The company RHA is selling it for $899. Hold on, I gotta look at this thing up a little bit closer. Did I just hit something really big? Like, really big? Okay, scratch that. Whatever the phone pulled up was a different model of these. It's like the same thing, but it's more high tech. But these still sell for new on Amazon, $152 new. And these look like, honestly, like they don't look used. They, they don't look used. Maybe pulled out of the package one time, but if it sells new for 150, I bet you can easily sell these things for about 100 bucks since they're like in fantastic condition. Okay, here we've got, so I, <laughs> that's an awesome item. Trophies, awards, plaques. There's some kind of trophy here. <laughs> it looks like, I gotta see what kind of trophies in here. Oh, it's broken on the bottom. It's cracked, but yeah, there is a trophy here. Yeah. That is in electronics too, so that's strange. It's broken, so more likely I'll just donate it because somebody might use it as like a prop or something. Who knows? 
Phillips Hue White & Color Balance Bulb Starter Kit. This is good. This is good. Here we've got the hub. Okay, so it has four out of the six lights. It's missing two of the lights, but it's got four lights. It's got the hub. So it's got a good chunk of what it's supposed to have. Like here's these very expensive Philips Q lights. Like they're not cheap. I mean, so much this thing costs because I don't really know. But yeah, this this is another good item, but it's missing two lights though. But it has the hub. On Amazon, it's no longer being sold. It is pulled off of the website. So I'm looking on eBay. On eBay, it is selling for in new condition about 130 new for new uh it looks like between 1 to 130 new used i'm seeing like 80 90 110 so i'm just going to guesstimate i'll just do like the low end used about 80 bucks on that so that's good got a couple records here first one is hyper dub like it's just a sleeve that's all it's supposed to be though looks like there's there's the barcode 15 shipped on that i guess and then that's the same one from the first box billy ellish don't smile at me so 15 shipped on billy i got two of those now there's one thing in this box that's really good i'm gonna save for last it's really good. Keep the suspense. We got a neckband freedom earbuds wireless headphones. That's a kind of don't like that like pulls off. I, I I don't like these, but it's been opened up. Probably about 25, 30 bucks on that. Nothing stupid expensive. We have a belt for something. Let's see. Three button USB wire. It's a wired mouse. I'll just donate that. Can't really sell those very well anymore. Oh, we have a, goes to your ear. You can, uh, the earpiece thing, you know what I'm saying? 20 bucks on that. Easy stick car mount, about five bucks on that. We have a impulse sealer. I used to have one of these. It lasted about a week and it broke. But I think used is like 20, $25. A few things left and the last thing, Oh, I hope it's not broken. I hope, hope it's in there. It's the last thing's good. Uh, we have Picture Keeper Connect. It's like a little stick for your iPhone. You can back up your your media. Oh, okay. Never seen that. Back up your photos, videos, and contacts. I'm gonna keep that actually. Then we've got a Dell. USB DVD drive with play and burn software. DVD drive. Wish it did Blu-ray too, because I'd keep it if it also did Blu-ray. I would definitely keep it, but a DVD burner, player soft drive. Um, I haven't sold anything like this for a really long time. I don't get to me things like this in my liquidation boxes. It did not find it. But I'm guessing no more like what 30 40 bucks I bet in that range some Avery labeled five bucks net and the last item you ready for this Say the best for last maybe you ready? Are there any gamers still around anybody that likes the PlayStation 4? Stealth 700 Air Force This one's good. So before I open it up to see if everything's in there Let's look at some prices on this. Because I know this thing's not cheap. Yep, not cheap. This thing sells new. It has a rank of a 574. Pretty much this thing would sell in a matter of hours. It's $119.95. So this thing sells new for $120 new. Let's see what it looks like. Is it broken? Is it complete? There, oh, we even got the dongle for the PlayStation 4. Good. Without that thing, it's uh, kind of worthless. The 
These don't even look used. There's no hair, there's no dirt, there's no scratches. Okay, it is missing the charge. It just takes a micro USB to charge it. Oh, I've, I've got 100 of those cords. So it is missing the micro USB cable to charge it, but I have so many of those, that's not a big deal. Yeah, these are pretty much like new condition. As close as new as you can get without calling it new. That is a good way to end this palette. So I'll put a replacement micro uh, USB in these so the person can charge it when they, they want to use it. It's got the dongle for it. it. Sells new for 120. I bet you I can get 80 bucks for it. Easily. Easily. It's complete. It's even has the box. So this actually all in all ended up being a really good palette. I had a lot of like really cool electronics, some high-end stuff. I had four or five things that was like that was like a hundred dollars plus new. Or there might have been more than that. There was at least a half dozen items that I looked at that were like hundred dollars plus. So I think this palette, once I sell everything, this is going to be insanely profitable. It did have a price point of over three thousand dollars. So it had to have had some big money stuff in it, and it did have some big money stuff in it. So that is fun. It had gaming stuff, it had electronics, it had records. It had everything that you would want in a good electronics palette. So I'm very pleased with this purchase. I want to make some killer money, some killer profit on this palette. And as a palette flipper, that's kind of like my end goal is to make money. So, very exciting. Before I sign off here, I just wanted to let everybody know I'm actually starting up a new YouTube channel called Franchise TV, where as of right now, my thought process, my vision, all videos are going to be live on that channel. People have asked me to go live, so I created a, a, a live channel. So that channel, you'll see live unboxings, live palettes. You'll see the wife and I doing things live and so that I can interact with the viewer live, you know? So I think that should be a fun channel. It'd be totally different from this channel where everything's pre-recorded edited that channel will be live and raw no edits everything is live so i'm excited about the channel it will be launching hopefully before june 1st is my goal that's my goal is before june 1st i'm gonna leave a direct link in the description box to my new channel called franchise tv so go ahead if you want and subscribe to it now so that whenever i start uploading you're notified make sure you click the little bell for it so you will know immediately whenever i'm live because these won't be pre-recorded whenever you see the notification pop up i'm live me and my wife are live me and a guest are live i'm gonna start doing my vision i would like to do like a podcast maybe weekly bi-weekly a podcast on that channel so i've got a lot of ideas for that channel and it's gonna be something different than what we're used to seeing on this main channel so Subscribe to it now, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.